The indexes on Wall Street making baby moves Wednesday, just as they did yesterday, but not with cannabis stocks. So perfect person to talk about cannabis stocks is Ross Gerber of Gerber Kawasaki. He's been a big uh, backer of these stocks well before the election. By the way, happy birthday, Ross. Thank you, Fred. Good to have you on your big day. Now, as I said, you've been sort of, uh, I shouldn't say high on these stocks, but uh, really uh, <laughs> uh, bullish on these stocks. Uh, now that they're being swept up by this Reddit trading frenzy that we saw whipsaw stocks like GameStop and the AMC earlier, how should investors who have already bought stocks, who perhaps have listened to you, play this? Should they take, take profit, for example, on Tilray, which was up 40% earlier today? Yeah, and I think we have to be careful to, to you know, uh, not mix American companies doing business in America and Canadian companies doing business in Canada because the irony is everybody's trading these Canadian companies because that's all they can trade. But that's actually not where the big game is. It's really here in America, which all these stocks trade in Canada and many investors, it's difficult for them to buy shares because they only list on the pink sheets here. So we're seeing a rally in kind of the wrong stocks, although Canopy is a good company. It, they're really the only stocks that the institutional traders and, and individuals can buy. And, and so they're sort of buying the wrong ones. But that being said, across the board, cannabis is a growing, exciting industry. And it's a lot better position than buying stock in like AMC and GameStop. So it's good to see people moving over to an area that I think there's a lot more value. So if, you're, if you've already got some of these uh, uh, cannabis stocks, uh, just hold on and uh, hold on for the ride or would you... Uh, oh, yeah, this is just the beginning. I mean, you have to think long terms, you know, like when you think about cannabis, I, I've been saying this in a lot of interviews, it's like the end of prohibition in 1933, you could invest in alcohol and you look at some of the wealthiest families in America, they're alcohol families. So here's this opportunity for investors um, across the board to be participants in the beginning of a massively growing industry that will grow and evolve for, for a long time to come. So so if anything, we're adding to our positions because we're seeing confirmation that everything we are seeing is correct. So valuations have gone up, but but this is an exciting business. Adding to positions, even though we've seen a, a huge appreciation of these stocks, Tilray's practically quintupled since December. It's up another 40 percent today. The stocks, the cannabis stocks ETF, that's up 12 percent today. Yeah. And so once again, I would stay away from the Tilray's of the world. I, I don't think there's value there. I, I'm very bullish on the what we call MSO operators here in the United States, companies like Terrasen, uh, TrueLeave, uh, CuraLeaf, uh, Green Thumb, uh, Planet 13. We have positions in all these. And of course, there's risk involved with these investments, but also great potential returns. All right, but stay away from the Canadian listed shares on your side. Yeah, I mean, Canada is like a small state in the United States. And so Canada sales are doing well. But when you look at the overall market, it's peanuts even compared to California. So so the game is here in the United States. Legalization is coming and and you want to be in these stocks. And let's look at the overall markets uh, today. Uh, it looks like that uh, the, the market has sort of lost momentum. Yesterday, it sort of petered out. Today, it looks like another pause. What do you read into the trading action? Well, we've got the impeachment trial going on and, and some of these undercurrents, but earnings have been much better than expected. And, and, and year over year so far, earnings have been up. And if you strip out oil companies, I mean, earnings look real, real good for a lot of businesses. So despite the pandemic, what we got was a much more efficient and more profitable America for the businesses that weren't directly affected by the pandemic, which were mostly concentrated in what we call the entertainment business, which is things we like to do. But the things we need to do, those businesses have been really doing well. So so we're bullish. You know, I haven't been bullish for a long time. And, and I, I think we're going to have bumps in the road and valuations are high. But when you look at what's happening um, with uh, fiscal and monetary policy, um, how do markets lose when everybody's trying to you know, get the economy going. So we're, we're very bullish on the future. We're still you know, very concerned about coronavirus and, and its long-term effects, but, but we're, we're positive. All right, thank you. On that positive note, we'll leave you. Thanks a lot, Ross, and again, happy birthday. Thanks, thanks. Our right, thanks to Ross Gerber of Gerber Kawasaki in Santa Monica, California. I'm Fred Katayama in New York. This is Reuters.